All right. Shalom, shalom. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Rechakadash. Double honors to the apostles and you of the great millstone who rule well and who teach well. Much peace and mercy to the hopeful elect, you brothers and you sisters, wholeheartedly waiting upon the Lord Yahweh to send his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, to deliver us from this captivity. To you, I say shalom. This video is going to be a land back off of this video from the beloved elder, Manatha Zagba, titled Bishop Nate is going off on the rich man and Lazarus. You see? And uh, I'm not going to play it. This is a lunchtime video, but this is the reference. You see? And I'm actually just go here first because um, this is not talking about Jake that has benefits in his society. You see, this is Luke 16 and 19. There was a certain rich man. And this is a parable. You see, the Lord spoke in parables. There's many accounts in the scriptures that, that, that to, uh, tell you this. I think it's Matthew 13 and 33, 34. Right. He spoke to, to, to the multitudes in parables. And then he expounded upon those parables and their meanings to his disciples. So it says there was a certain rich, rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared sumptuously every day. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, which was laid at his gate full of sores and desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. So this rich man is talking about Esau Edom, the elites, those that are in power. They have... Um, it says here, fared sumptuously every day. You see, and this is why it's very important to go into words. Let's go here. Let's go here in uh, Luke 16, 19. And let's look up this word sumptuously really quickly because it's, it's that quick. <laughs> Lapros. It says Splen splendidly, magnificently of a sumptuous living. You see luxuriously brilliantly shining uh, this is the root word lapros shining brilliant clear transparent splendid things i.e. luxuries or elegancies in dress or style so it says radiant so if <laughs> if anything you know wouldn't you be wouldn't you be um <laughs> culprits of that you see but that's not what it's talking about it's not what it's talking about. The rich man is is, is, is the elites, man, because they have been giving the, the, the earth. You see, this is a uh, let's go here. Go back. They have been given the entire earth. Job chapter nine and verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? You see, so the fact that they have power over the earth, they can control, you know, who goes where, how, what the currency is. You see how they have their currency set up as the main currency. And now these other countries, they're starting to depart from that, the, the petrodollar. They're starting to use other means of, of trade between each other because they're trying to bypass America. But that's another story. So ultimately, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. We know the wicked is Esau Edom, according to Malachi 1 and 4. You see, he's the border of wickedness. So because of this prophecy here, and, and I'm just going, I'm getting these from my list uh, through the spirit. Genesis chapter 27 and verse 39. And Isaac is five. This was what Isaac blessed Esau, his firstborn son with. Um, after he had blessed Jacob with the, um, the birthright. Of, of being lords, rulers, and, um, you know, being sustained with corn and wine uh, by the other nations. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. You see, the fatness of the earth. Now, I actually want to see what this word fatness means. Or what is it in, exactly in the uh, Hebrew? Genesis 39. Let's go to this word fatness and see what it says. <laughs> Um, Mashaman, fatness, fat peace, fertile place, richly prepared food. 
You see? Fared sumptuously. Fat, fatness, fat pieces, olive oil. Uh, fatness, stout, vigorous. Uh, fertile spots or places. You see? So what? They have fertile spots and places. They got the, the, the richest lands. You see, they, they took the land of Israel. They they have, um, you know, the, the, prime, the premium cut meats. Shit that we ain't never heard of, man. That probably doesn't even have a name, but... You know, they, 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 they cut it out, the goats and the, the ox and wherever else they get their, their their meats from. And then they just throw us the scraps. We get the shoulder, you know what I'm saying, the rack, the, 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 the ribs, right? But there's there's more fat, uh, there's more finer and, and uh, luxurious uh, portions of, of those animals that they're in consuming. Why? Because they're in power. Um. So that's who the rich man is. They're, they have the, uh, the, the, they're, they're faring sumptuously. They're living luxuriously. They, they don't have to work. You see, they point their finger and people go and do it. They're not out here slaving like we are. They say, oh, you know what? I want to go to fucking Portugal today. I'm going to Portugal. I want to go to Spain. They're going to go to Spain, Italy, France, wherever they want to go, they're going to go. They can go to multiple different countries in one day, in, in a span of a few hours. So they are living this luxurious life on this earth. It ain't no Jake, man. Jake is under the cap, uh, uh, un under um, the curses and in captivity. So let's go back. Let's just grab this list. Oh, yeah. Psalm 73. I'm going to grab it in here. Psalm 73. We're just going to start at the top. Verse 1. A psalm of Asaph. Truly, the Most High is good to Israel, even to such as are of a clean heart. So the Lord is only really dealing with Israel, man. You know, especially the, the elect. Verse 2. But as for me, my feet were almost gone. My steps had well nigh slipped. For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. You see? So David, uh, this is Asaph. Saying he saw the prosperity of the wicked. We just explained who the wicked was. Uh, Malachi 1. You see. Um, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Uh, 4. There are no bands in their death. But their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men. Neither are they played like other men. You see. Jake is played. Just because Jake got a couple million dollars. They ain't, that, that ain't fair and sumptuously. You still paying taxes. You still got baby mama drama. You know, you still under the curses. The Lord, hey, the scriptures say, cursed thou shalt thou be in a city, cursed shalt thou be in the field. Um, verse six, therefore pride compasseth them about as a chain. Violence covereth them as a garment. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than heart could wish. This is the, this is the point. Psalm 73 and verse seven. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than heart could wish. You see that? And when we went to um, the the uh, the Hebrew word for uh, fatness of the earth, Ma, uh, Mashaman, it said what? It said the fertile places, right? The um, you know the the luxurious. Let me go back to it, man, real fast. Cause you you you. Hey, these these Israelite camps, they just they're they're getting worse and worse. Fatness. This is uh, Strong's H forty nine twenty four Mashaman. Fatness, fat piece, fertile place, richly prepared food, richly prepared food. You see, the fatness of the earth. They have been giving. They have the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So that rich man, which is this is a parable. This is not. Uh, a true, oh yeah, this is this one rich man and this is Lazarus. No, this is symbolic. This is symbolism between the nation of Edom and the nation of Israel. You see? Psalm 73 and 7 again, their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than heart could wish. So the Lord allowed these people to be established um, to this extent. Uh, what was that saying in Romans? For, uh, the same reason have I brought thee up. So that I can show my power in thee. 
The Lord established this place. The Lord put Esau, Edom in power. So ultimately, he's going to be destroyed. So that's when it goes into that great gulf fixed and, and them burning in, um, in the flame, uh, uh, looking for mercy. Oh, can he tell Lazarus to dip his finger in, 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 in the water so he may cool my tongue? These are all um, metaphors and symbol is symbolism, uh, symbolic for the hell that they're going to catch when, when we get into power, when we receive the kingdom, when we receive dominion. And then and then we're eating uh, richly prepared foods. Then we have the fertile spots and, and places in different lands. But right now we're we're the tail and they're the head. You see. So you're going off, man, and you've been going off. Um, I don't really have to get that. I'm going to grab this, though. Proverbs 21 and 20, man, because you you. You, IUIC especially, man. They they don't got the oil, man. I was gonna say they losing the oil, but they ain't got it. The oil is gone from that place, and and they're running on fumes. This is Proverbs twenty one and twenty. There is a treasure to be desired, and oil in the dwelling of the wise. So the oil is gonna be with the wise, man. That's why the scriptures say that the wise virgins put oil in their vessels, but the foolish uh, did not take oil with their vessels. But a foolish man spinneth it up. So you got a lot of men that's teaching garbage, man. You had you had the, the understanding. You had the true names of the Heavenly Father. You knew that the uh, so-called white man was Esau, Edom, and he's the fucking devil according to the Bible. But now you're teaching that the rich man is Israel who, who, who have received benefits in this world. Come on, man. What are you doing? Where are you getting this from? I know where you're getting it from. You're getting it from uh, uh, that bag you took, man. You took that bag and now you can't teach the true doctrine. So now you twisting and turning everything, trying to appease to these motherfucking uh, uh, people, these worldly ass people. Then you just have a damn uh, congregation or council with with the 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 the, the adulterous couples. And those are the ones that got caught. So we already know what the deal is, man. We already know what the deal is. So you need, hey, you re repent. Lest as the Lord gonna come, man. The scriptures say, make no tarrying. Let me grab that and I'm gonna end it there. It's rock five and seven. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put it off from day to day. Where suddenly shall the wrath come. Uh, fourth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. So, hey, right now you're 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 in security. You 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 riding your horses, you know you talking shit, feeling good in your high seat. But when the Lord visits you, man, what's gonna happen? Repent. That's all I'ma say. Humbly speaking, repent. So, Lord willing, this is edifying, faith boosting. I'm going to give all praises, glory, and honor to you. How about Shem Yahweh? Shabbat Shem Kadash Shalom.